Dr. Monique Wittelkopf, and we get the question a lot, what do you mean when you say activate the muscles of your pelvic floor? So there's a lot of different ways we can work on the pelvic floor muscles. And when I was younger, I heard people tell me all the time, oh, just do a Kegel. Well, we talk about things, that, but sometimes we don't really know what that actually means. So let's talk today about four types of pelvic floor contractions. So there's the first type, which would be cutting off the flow of urine. It would be using the muscles that we would use to stop going to the bathroom to cut off that flow of urine. That would be the first type. The second type would be a vaginal contraction. So if we were to reduce the diameter and, and um, squeeze and use the muscles of the vagina, that would be the second type. The third type would be cutting off the flow of stool. So if we were to go to the restroom and cut off the flow of stool, then using those same muscles would be the third type of contraction. The fourth type of contraction is one that we don't think of as often. It's where we would lift up the muscles of the pelvic floor. So where we have not only a contraction of the three sphincters or the three, the three first types of contractions, be also adding an additional fourth type to lift up. When we talk about activating the muscles of the pelvic floor, we're talking about doing all four of those things at one time, right? Squeeze, 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 lift up. That will help us to activate the most muscle fibers at one time to help give us the most strength and support in our pelvic floor.